me your girl bianca yes it's been a while how y'all doing yes it's been a while um things so many transitions so many things has taken had things has taken place we will talk about another day however it is tuesday morning and i am headed into trader joe's to grab me some salads i have been on this fast and so on my eat days i need to make sure that i have food to eat so that i don't eat so i don't go out and buy, purchase food and buy the wrong foods okay so i'm here to grab me some salads i might grab some birria tacos if they have any to cook for my mom and my cousin this week so and my sister so they can try them i said my sister because she was she's been out of town i think she's coming back so if she's coming back then we'll make the birria tacos and she'll be able to indulge in them as well so um, that's what we're about to do. About to head into Trader Joe's, and I will see you guys in a minute. Show y'all what I got from Trader Joe's. Got these for my salad. What's up you guys okay same vlog different day today is wednesday and how are you guys doing so i'm on my lunch break and i'm headed to the herb store well i don't know if it's considered the herb store but this is the guy i think i've shown maybe shown him on my vlog once before um where i get my shea butter and my black soap from and I'm actually headed over here because he also has sea moss and I need some sea moss really bad but I usually meet him on his truck I'm never really never really get a chance to go inside of his shop so I know that he has like I went in his shop before like once before but um I never normally get a chance to go in his shop because I always have to meet him somewhere out while he's on his truck so we're headed to his shop. If you are in Birmingham, Alabama, um, you can find him on Facebook, Mama Africa. I think it's Africa with a K, I think. Um, he His shop is downtown, but his truck will be everywhere, okay, everywhere. I get all my shea butter from him. I haven't bought shea butter from him from, and from him in a long time I have, because I have still have a big old container of it. And I don't use it as much as I used to because it's, sometimes it's just too thick for my skin, uh, for my liking, you know. I, I'll probably wear it more so in the winter than I will in the summer. And then also, um, I when I used to wear it and I take my showers at nighttime, um, it, it, it would be hard to go to sleep because that because that shea butter be like too thick on, on the bed like when I drag it across my sheets and stuff so I prefer coconut oil so I don't really use the shea butter as much no more but I stand by his product okay it's great and it's not just his shea butter shea butter period is just thick um and so sometimes I use it sometimes I don't I, mean, I have a huge amount of it left and I probably had that same thing for like a year because I used to buy it from him like the big tubs of it like probably twice a year I would have to buy it and so because I've been using mainly coconut oil I haven't had to use the shea butter but I still get my black soap from him when I'm in Birmingham um what else 
Um, he like when I get my, I haven't had to buy toothpaste. Uh oh, so using my blind spot. I haven't had to buy toothpaste from him in a while because I think I showed y'all on the old vlog that my aunt in Jersey, um, she had got me some, and they had bought me like a big, big pack um, that lasts me a long time. And then when I went back to New Jersey last year for Christmas around Christmas time, she bought me some more. So I haven't had to buy toothpaste from him in a long time. Man, that's not the exit. Shoot. Um, so, yeah. Dang, I don't think that's the exit. Where, am I, where do I think I'm going? I think I was supposed to get off way back there. Golly. You know how you been on your lunch break? You don't have time to play games. And I'm literally out here playing games in the streets. Like, I don't have time to get They must have closed that exit off down there. That's so crazy. And then I have no, with my um, tripod, he's broke. Okay, I don't know if that was illegal, but Lord cover. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I'm about to head into his shop. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff he has. Um, and I'm hoping to get, I know for a fact I need to get some sea moss. But I'm hoping to get some burdock root as well. It's what I really, really need. And, you know, I'm going to say this because I'm trying not, I don't want to like do a sit down vlog about it. But I want to say that God has really blessed me um, to not be on blood pressure pills anymore. I was on blood pressure pills probably since maybe like my senior year of high school. All the way up until about 2020. When did I go see the doctor? Like 2021? No. Okay, let's back up. I didn't take myself off the blood pressure pill. Where am I going? First of all. What am I? Okay, hold on. Okay, guys, I'll get back on track. <laughs> so, um, Birmingham has done a lot of changes. And I be, sometimes I be lost on these streets. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. But anyway. So, um. Now I'm vlogging. Sorry, not. Lord cover the person. Heal them in Jesus name. Okay, so um, God really healed me from high blood pressure, you guys. So a couple of things. Um, one, prayer. Okay, well, that's first and foremost. But I believe through prayer, what God does is give you instructions on what to do. He starts revealing and giving you education and knowledge on things. Can God do stuff supernaturally? Absolutely. But he also allows us to stumble upon or allows someone to provide us with education and information on things that will also help you so um back in i think i talked about my my vegan journey uh, on on here before but i went i went a uh, part-time vegan let's call it that let's call it part-time vegan because i would be vegan all weekend and on the weekends i would allow myself to eat meat when i first started that was just my way of kind of progressing into it and um and that was me for a long time maybe like maybe close to two years at the time and then i not so much but i also um in past time because i have to say the last maybe six seven months not so much but i also watch my dairy intake as well coupled with that though was um herbs and two of my herbs that stand that i hold true today that I believe that the Lord used to aid in me um, uh, getting off my blood pressure pill was burdock root and sea moss but mainly burdock root um, and so yeah I, I, I stand by the herbs I stand by the herbs I stand by the herbs um, I believe that everything that we need God has already given to us um, he he's not coming out the sky <laughs> <laughs> yet okay um to give us anything he gives everything we need is already here it's already in existence and so i believe that herbs was the medicine that god initiated for us to um i, I believe herbs was what god was was the medicine god wanted us to use to help heal our bodies and so i strongly believe that i stand by that um and so i have been um slacking on my herbs um really really bad <laughs> really really bad i have been completely slacking um but my body is telling me 
I need to get it together. Um, seriously. And this is one thing that I will say. I strongly believe that um, I could be probably worse off than I am now um, with not having taken my herbs and stuff uh, because I've missed them missed for so long. Um, but I believe that when you consistently take your herbs, take care, I mean, take your herbs, your body automatically take, takes care of itself. And so, um, I think up until a point now, my body's like, okay, girl, like we've been, you've been running off, we've been running off that, you know, them herbs that you put in us months and months and months ago. It's time to get it together. And so my body has been talking to me. My digestive system has been talking to me. So I'm about to do what I know best. And let's get back on these herbs. Get back on these, this natural medicine. My dad sends me vitamins. Um, and so, yes, I'm not a, um, I'm not an expert in this, but I stand by herbs. I stand by vitamins. I stand by vegan, a vegan lifestyle. Primarily, I stand by no dairy. Um, I, um, I stand by those things. I often don't talk about it because I know people look at me and like, girl, you don't. <laughs> but it worked for me for a long time, for a long time. So anyway, I'm about to just get my, whew, Jesus, Jesus. <sighs> I'm about to get my life together, so let's go in here, grab some herbs, and I'll chime in with you guys and show you guys. Okay, I don't know what's going on my phone. So, y'all, he did not let me vlog in there today. He said he wanted to get it ready first, so okay. <laughs> but I'm at least show you guys what I got. So he didn't have any sea moss ready. So I already paid for it and I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow. In his sea moss, I asked him to put me some turmeric in there because y'all, we need turmeric every day, but I'm not here to preach a sermon. So anyway, here's my burdock root. So normally I got burdock root and I got some ginger. Now I've never gotten ginger like this before. I usually drink ginger from like out of a, um, on a tea, but I haven't, I have never got it like this. So I'm really excited to make to do this but normally this is how I get my burdock root in, in powder form but he only had it like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a whole tea um well, I'm, well not really yeah I guess a tea like a picture of this and I think I have my container um but I will boil this and put it in the container um and I'll put this in it and I'll boil it and boil this and then drink it every day all right you guys same vlog different day i went to pick up my sea moss you guys and guess what he forgot to put my to put my turmeric in there he's like oh i forgot so he gave me some on the side so what i'm gonna probably end up doing is getting one of my current mason jars and putting it and putting it in there and 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 put, bleh, putting it together because if i try to add it in there like okay i'm not trying to get this all over my clothes i wait but if i try to add it in there it's gonna be all added in now it's gonna be all over the place unless i just take some out put it in there we'll figure it out but um in his sea moss i want to tell y'all he has bladder rack in here he has ashwagandha in here he has elderberry and of course the sea moss that's good. Um, sea moss is definitely good for inflammation. Inflammation is what causes mucus, which causes us to get sick. So, um, sea moss is something we need in our bodies. Okay. Um, turmeric, we should have turmeric every day. I got the turmeric inside the sea moss idea from another place that I, um, in Birmingham that also has sea moss, and they put turmeric in theirs, and I thought that was so good. Ooh, my skin looks so trash. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. Mm. So the, anyway guys, so I am on my project management course on my phone. We're headed to um let me turn them down a bit. Um I'm retaking the course. Did I already say that? Oh no. But anyway, I am headed to um our college that we went to, our 
frat brothers um, are having their probate show, so we're just going to support. Won't be there long, so I'm gonna take you guys with me. I can't record on my phone. Shout out to Camila. I'm gonna record on her phone because I am on my class on my phone. So I will see you guys in a bit. Yes, Sawa. You better throw them pedals. Yes, I was. She's so stupid. Let's go. Y'all may know this man as Samuel Lewis. Oh!